Hello. Well, recently, um, the big story is uh, if you were to watch the news or read the newspaper, it will be the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. War is bad, right? In fact, uh, war is evil. I will never condone war um, and violence. Um, it, it, the only thing it brings is misery to the common people, right? And, and personally, I, I really feel that to achieve peace is something that is so tragic, so valuable, and so important. And yet, it is difficult. Now, of course, uh, when we try to understand the reason why a war happened, there are always uh, multiple factors um, influencing it. And uh, definitely from the point of view of um, the person, the, the, the person or the countries involved, um, they are always um, they always justifiable in some sense. So it's quite um, quite sad to see how events actually unfold. I I believe even from a young age when I start learning about um, peace and keeping and the importance of peace, one of the things that struck me and um, actually. You no, know, I, I hold very dear to in terms of my own personal values is this idea of uh, deterrence I think the, the thing is there are, there's a reason why we have um, army and uh, defense okay a military defense in, in most countries in the world uh, because society is such that it, it becomes a necessity because of a lot of mistrust and um, and uh, misgivings and uh, from one one country to another, there's always a rivalry and and people who who actually because the, me against you tribal um, differences. So so a, a standing army and a defense becomes a necessity in society, and yet to me it it is necessary, but at the same time it is evil in a sense necessary evil, because what deterrence meant to me on a personally. It's as though I'm holding a knife, a dagger, a weapon, and I'm pointing it at your throat. And you're holding a dagger, a knife, pointing at my throat. And just because we did not apply pressure and there's no blood, we tell the world that we are friends. <laughs> you get the imagery? So, um, it is something that becomes um, necessary to maintain some form of balance uh, in the world today. But that doesn't mean that we have true peace so even when there's no war uh, peace efforts is something quite different uh, it is really forging uh, true friendship through dialogues so one of the things uh, I, I hope everyone can uh, understand is that even in the absence of war it doesn't mean that peace exists peace is a genuine friendship that is forged when we really lay down uh, our, our weapons Right, put down our, put, put down our defenses and guard against one another, and to really embrace each other, for what we are, and to always uh, strive with unity for the betterment of um, one another and for our community. So, for those of us um, growing up, even on a very human personal level, um, when you have friends around you, do treasure them. Friends, genuine friends who just uh, wish the best for one another these are really really valuable and uh, treasured um, uh, one of the most treasured things in the world right good friends so make many good friends make many genuine friends really care for one another help one another uh, be kind to one another all right um, yeah it don't don't be the case where just because you're not hurting each other you tell people you are friends that's that's not true friendship so be nice be friendly and make many friends okay have a nice day